now we have two different modules. When you put on the virtual reality goggles, you're transformed into the operating room. There's an, an arm that you can grab and actually move around like you normally would in surgery. And I can situate myself right where I normally would be in this. Virtual reality changing the way UBC orthopedic surgical resident Ryan Lohr is learning procedures. And it lets me actively participate in what I'm learning. So I get to see the anatomy, I get to interact with the patient, and I get to actually use the instrumentation, which are very realistic compared to what I'm going to be actually using in the operating room. So this is one of the drills. So realistic, the files to make the tools come directly from the manufacturer. Some of the younger students, uh, some of them have never used a drill before um, going in and so anything we can do to prepare them and, and then get them as close to the real thing as possible. Feeling the vibrations of the drill. Instead of reading textbook after textbook, only to apply the theory much later on a real person. If I had to put a guide pin in a particular part of the glenoid, I can put it wherever I want, which is the sort of freedom that I have in the real world. But I don't get any data to tell me where I put that guide pin, i.e. there's no performance metrics. But through virtual reality? You're given visual, tactile, as well as uh, uh, audio feedback. So when you're drilling, what you do in virtual reality is you're actually given haptics, which are the sensation that you're actually drilling something. And so what you're shown here is visual feedback. Clearly, I've made a mistake, and I put that guide pin in the wrong spot. But this is the key, is where I, you get data showing that I'm off by so many millimeters and so many degrees. Universities like UBC are starting to use VR to train surgeons, each kit costing $4,500. Vancouver's Precision OS technology has spent years taking feedback from users doing exactly this to develop the software it believes will be a game changer when it comes to surgical training around the world. And with Vancouver already being a hub for the gaming industry, the city has a lot of talent to pick from when it comes to building enterprise solutions using virtual reality. We really have this opportunity to become the next Silicon Valley for VR and AR, and it's really exciting stuff. Meantime, the folks at Precision OS hope their technology will eventually go beyond the world of orthopedics, one day used to teach all types of surgeries.